the CPI guide, the certification process improvement guide came about in the, the 90s. Uh, so it, at this point it might be ancient history, but it's amazing how much of it is absolutely applicable. Uh, many times in our certification processes we talk about uh, what we have to do. The CPI guide kind of talks about how. And so it brings uh, discussions of efficiency into uh, the process of certifying products. And so it's been maybe f uh, 12 years since it was last revised. That's a long time from all the work that we've been doing. There's a lot of catch up that has to be done uh, to bring it up with project prioritization, with applicant showing, uh, with ODA. These are all existing things that have been put in place in the past few years. What we're trying to do with this new document is to actually highlight those recent improvements and changes and at the same time clearly identify who is responsible in the current environment when it comes to the role of an ODA, the role of an ODA holder, and the applicant and all that. All of that has completely changed. And, and the importance of this document is that it would actually help companies to have a better appreciation of how they fit in this current environment. Today it's a, considered an industry guide. Well, so it's a best practice tool. So how do we change the terminology in the document and the expectation of industry on themselves as well as on ourselves in the FAA that it's no longer just a guide and a nice to have, but it's actually an expectation of how we do business. And so getting some of that terminology into the document that shifts that focus, uh, I think will be transformational for us and the companies uh, to use the very tools that are identified in the document, uh, partnership for safety agreements. These things can be uh, great tools to set expectations uh, between the company and ourselves of how we do business together. So when they're invested in, they work. Industry and FAA are interdependent. They need each other. One cannot succeed without the other. And it's important to realize that, and as we move forward, we have to keep that in mind. What we hope to see with this change is to get to a point where there is increased accountability, uh, commitment to actually follow through with what we said we're gonna do, and at the same time be able to improve compliance and con conformance. And that's gonna take some doing on both sides. Right. Hopefully it won't be another 12 years till we revise it and, and that's another thing we're looking at is putting in some requirements that it be looked at at a much more regular basis to keep it current so that the industry has a tool they can refer to to help them uh, be more efficient in working with us.